The Life and Sad Ending of David Soule David Soule was born David Richard Solberg on August 28, 1943, in Chicago, Illinois, United States. His mother, June Joanne, was a teacher, and his father, Dr. Richard W. Solberg, was a Lutheran minister, professor of history and political science, and director of higher education for the Lutheran Church in America. Both of Soule's grandfathers were evangelists. Dr. Solberg was also senior representative for Lutheran World Relief during the reconstruction of Germany after World War II from 1949 until 1956. Because of this, the family moved frequently during Soule's youth. After graduation from Washington High School, Soule attended Augustana College but after two years, withdrew to move to Mexico with his family where he studied for one year at the University of the Americas in Mexico City. What has been through with David Soule are the difficult years, having many difficulties and troubles in the love story, known. Soule has been married five times and has five sons and a daughter. He first married the actress Miriam Mim Solberg, in 1964. The couple had one child together, but the marriage lasted only a year. Soul married actress Karen Carlson in 1968 after they met on the set of the television series Here Come the Brides. The couple also had a child but divorced in 1977. During the years he was filming Starsky and Hutch, Soul had an open relationship with actress Lynn Marta. Soul married Patty Carnell Sherman in 1980, ex-wife of Bobby Sherman, David's co-star in Here Come the Brides, and 1960s pop idol. They had three children and divorced in 1986. Soul was jailed and ordered to attend therapy classes for alcoholism after attacking her when she was seven months pregnant. In 1987 Soul married actress Julia Nixon. The couple had one child, China Soul, who is a singer-songwriter. Soul married his fifth wife, Helen Snell, in June 2010. They had been in a relationship since 2002 after meeting when Soul was working in the British stage production of Death Trap. While in Mexico, inspired by students who taught him to play the guitar, Soul changed his direction and decided to follow his passion for music. His first appearance upon returning from Mexico was in a club in Minneapolis, the Ten O'Clock Scholar. Soul first gained attention as the covered man appearing on the Merv Griffin show in 1966 and 1967, on which he sang while wearing a mask. He explained, My name is David Soul, and I want to be known for my music. The same year, he made his television debut in Flipper. In 1967, he signed a contract with Columbia Pictures, and following a number of guest appearances, including the episode The Apple from the second season of Star Trek, he landed the role of Joshua Bolt on the television program Here Come the Brides with co-stars Robert Brown, Bobby Sherman and Bridget Hanley. The series was telecast on the ABC network from September 25, 1968, to September 18, 1970. In 1972 he co-starred as Arthur Hill's law partner on Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law following numerous guest starring roles on TV, including Streets of San Francisco, he was cast by Clint Eastwood in the film Magnum Force. His breakthrough came when he portrayed Detective Ken Hutch Hutchinson on Starsky and Hutch, a role he played from 1975 until 1979. Soul also directed three episodes of Starsky and Hutch, Huggy Can't Go Home, Manchild on the Streets, and Survival. Throughout his career, he made guest appearances on Star Trek, One Dream of Jeannie, Macmillan and Wife, Cannon, Gunsmoke, All in the Family, and numerous TV movies and miniseries, including Homeward Bound, World War III, and Rage a TV movie commended on the floor of the U.S. Senate and for which he received an Emmy Award nomination. Soul also starred with James Mason in the 1979 TV miniseries adaptation of Stephen King's Salem's Lot, which was edited and released as a theatrical feature film in some countries.
During the mid to late 1970s, Soul returned to his singing roots. Produced by Tony McCauley, he recorded hits including Don't Give Up On Us which reached number one in the US and the UK, and Silver Lady, which topped the charts in the UK. From 1976 until 1978, he had five UK top 20 singles and two top 10 albums. From 1976 to 1982, he toured extensively in the US, Europe, Far East, and South America. In the US, he continued to make guest appearances in various television series. He starred in the miniseries The Manions of America as Caleb Staunton in 1981. He starred in the short-lived 1983 NBC series Casablanca, playing nightclub owner Rick Blaine, and co-starred in the NBC series The Yellow Rose during the 1983-1984 season. He also starred in the television adaptation of Ken Follett's wartime drama The Key to Rebecca directed by David Hemmings. He later starred as the infamous Florida robber Michael Platt in the TV movie In the Line of Duty. The FBI Murders, which depicted the 1986 FBI Miami shootout and which was subsequently used as an FBI training film. Soul also directed the episode No Exit of the 1980s TV series Miami Vice. In 1987, Soul was cast as Major Oldham in the movie The Hanoi Hilton. In the mid-1990s, Soul moved to England, forging a new career on the West End stage, including the role of Chandler Tate in Comic Potential and the narrator in Blood Brothers. He also participated in the successful 1997 election campaign of his personal friend Martin Bell who ran as an MP for Tatton, as well as Bell's unsuccessful campaign in Brentwood in Essex in the 2001 general election. In 2001 and 2002, he appeared in Holby City as Alan Fletcher. In 2003, he appeared in the first series of the BBC's Little Britain. In 2004, he appeared in Agatha Christie's Poirot, Death on the Nile in the role of Andrew Pennington. The soul was a guest on the BBC's Top Gear. He was one of the fastest drivers to have appeared on the show, finishing the lap in 1 hour 54 minutes and 0 seconds, but managed to break the car's gearbox very close to the finish. On July 12, 2004, he took over playing the role of Jerry Springer in Jerry Springer, the opera at the Cambridge Theatre in London, televised by the BBC in 2005. He returned to the West End in 2006, playing Mac in a new production of Jerry Herman's musical Mac and Mabel at the Criterion Theatre. The production co-starred Janie D and was directed by John Doyle. He also appeared in the TV series Dalziel and Pasco. He had a brief cameo in the 2004 movie version of Starsky and Hutch, alongside original co-star Paul Michael Glazer. In August 2008, Soul appeared in the reality TV talent show themed television series Maestro on BBC Two. He appeared with Fred Ward and Willem Dafoe in the film Farewell directed by Christian Carrion, which received its U.S. release in 2010. In June 2012, Soul made a one-week appearance with Jerry Hall at the Gaiety Theatre, Dublin in a reprise of the Pulitzer Prize-nominated play by A. R. Gurney, Love Letters. On 29 July 2012, Soul appeared in an episode of the British television detective drama series Lewis, playing a murder victim. He was also featured in the hit album by Fosse Tango, singing on the track Landlord. In 2013, Soul appeared in a cameo role in the Scottish film Filth Lip Sinking his own recording of Silver Lady. In 2014, Soul appeared in a British television commercial for National Express singing Silver Lady while driving a coach. As the years passed, the so-called passion didn't know how long it would follow him. Time takes everything it takes the youth of each person. But it seems inevitable. As it goes by, time leaves us with memorable memories. Do what you like with all your enthusiasm.